Hello. Kate Stewart, Head of Scientific Research at UNIT. Kate Stewart, heading up UNIT, changing the way they work. How could you not be? Science leads, he always told me. Said he'd learnt that from an old friend. You think it's been ten years? Not for you, or Earth, but for us. Ten years older, ten years of you. On and off. Look at you now. All grown up. Trap one, kitchen secured. Trap three, bank garden secured. There are soldiers all over my house, and I'm in my pants. My whole life I've dreamed of saying that, and I miss it by being someone else. All these muscles, and they still don't know how to knock. Sorry about the raucous entrance. Spike in Artron energy reading at this address. In the light of the last 24 hours, we had to check it out, and uh, the dogs do love a run out. Hello. Kate Stewart, Head of Scientific Research at UNIT. And with dress sense like that... You must be the doctor. I hoped it'd be you. Tell me, since when did science run the military, Kate? Since me. UNIT's been adapting. Well, I dragged them along, kicking and screaming, which, which made it sound like more fun than it actually was. What do we know about these cubes? Far less than we need to. We've been freighting them in from around the world for testing. So far, we've subjected them to temperatures of plus and minus 200 Celsius, simulated a water depth of five miles, dropped one out of a helicopter at 10,000 feet and rolled our best tank over it, always intact. That's impressive. I don't want them to be impressive. I want them vulnerable with a nice Achilles heel. We don't know how they got here, what they're made of, or why they're here. And all around the world, people are picking them up and taking them home. Like iPads have dropped out of the sky, taking them to work, taking pictures, making films, posting them on Flickr and YouTube. Within three hours, the Cubes had a thousand separate Twitter accounts. Twitter? I've recommended we treat this as a hostile incursion, gather them all up and lock them in a secure facility, but that would take massive international agreement and cooperation. We need evidence. The Cubes arrived in plain sight in vast quantities as the sun rose, so what does that tell us? Maybe they wanted to be seen, noticed. Or well, more than that, they want to be observed. So we observe them, stay with them, round the clock, watch the cubes, day and night, record absolutely everything about them. Team Cube, in it together. Four days. Nothing. Nothing. Not a single change in any cube anywhere in the world. Four days and I am still in your lounge. You were the one who wanted to observe them. Yes, yeah, so I thought they'd do something, didn't I? Not just sit there while everyone eats endless cereal. You said we have to be patient. Yes, you, you, not me. I hate being patient. Patience is for wimps. I can't live like this. Don't make me. I need to be busy. Fine, be busy. We'll watch the cubes. That's better. Nothing like a bit of activity to pass the time. How long was I gone? Uh, about an hour. Can't do it. To... Whatever you are, this planet, these people are precious to me, and I will defend them to my last breath. Is that all you can do? Hover? That a metal dog could do that. Ooh. 
Oh, that's clever. What's that? Woken up. Hi, uh, the cube in there, it, it just opened. The cube upstairs just spiked me into my pulse! <laughs> really? Mine fired laser bolts and now it's surfing the net. You're never gonna believe this. My cube just moved. It rattled. <laughs> Hello? Rory, mate, I'm desperate for help. People are saying they've been attacked by the cubes. It's gonna be a long night. Okay, I'm on my way. I have to get to work. They need all the help they can get. Let me come help out. Take your dad to work night. Brilliant. OK, uh, you're going to be all right here. Keep away from the cubes. Right. What are you grinning about? We wanted at the Tower of London. Every cube across the whole world activated at the same moment. Now we're in business. You sent me a message to my psychic paper. You know what? I'm almost impressed. Secret base beneath the tower. Hope we're not here because we know too much. Yes, I've got officers trained in beheading. Also, ravens of death. I like her. We have 50 being monitored and more coming in all the time. I don't know how useful it is. Every cube is behaving individually. There's no meaningful pattern. Some respond to proximity. Some create mood swings. Uh, what's this one? Try the door. On a loop! This is the latest. Oh, dear. Systems breach at the Pentagon, China, every African nation in the Middle East. I've got government screaming for explanations and no idea what to tell them. I'm, I'm lost, Doctor. We all are. Don't despair, Kate. Your dad never did. Kate Stewart, heading up unit, changing the way they work. How could you not be? Why did you drop Lethbridge? I didn't want any favours, though he guided me even to the end. Science leads, he always told me. He said he'd learnt that from an old friend. We don't let him down. We don't let this planet down. This is why we called you in. 3D again. Hmm. Interesting. The broken glass? No. Where is broken from? Look at the shatter pattern. The glass in all these paintings has been broken from the inside. As you can see, all the paintings are landscapes. No figures of any kind. So? They used to be. Something's got out of the paintings. Lots of some things. Dangerous. This whole place has been searched. There's nothing here that shouldn't be, and nothing's got out. Oh, no, not now. Doctor, what is it? No, not now. I'm busy. Is it to do with the paintings? No, no, this is different. I remember this. Almost remember. Oh, of course. This is where I come in. Geronimo! Doctor! Wait! Oh! Who is this man? That's just what I was wondering. A very skinny. That is proper skinny. I've never seen it from the outside. It's like a special effect. <laughs> Boy, ha, matchstick man. You're not. Compensating? For what? Regeneration, it's a lottery. Oh. He's cool. Isn't he cool? I'm the doctor and I'm all cool. Oops, I'm wearing sand shoes. What are you doing here? I'm busy. Oh, busy. I see. Is that what we're calling it, eh? Hey? 
Hello, ladies. Don't start. Listen, what you get up to in the privacy of your own regeneration is your business. One of them is a Zygon. Uh, I'm not judging you. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah. Your Majesty's probably a good time to run. But what, what about, about the creature? creature? Elizabeth, whichever one of you is the real one, turn and run in the opposite direction to the other one. Of course, my, my love. love. Stay alive, my love. I am not done with you yet. Mm. 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 <gasps> Thanks, lovely. I understand. Live for me, my darling. We shall be together again. Mm. Mm. <sighs> well, wouldn't that be nice? One of those was a Zygon. Yeah. Big red rubbery thing covered in suckers. Yeah. Venom sacks in the tongue. Yeah, I'm getting the point, thank you. Nice. Doctor, is that you? Ah, hello, Clara. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's me. We can hear you. Where are you? Where are we? England, 1562. Who are you talking to? Myself. Can you come back through? Physical passage may not be possible in both directions. It... Ah! Hang on. Pheasant coming! Nothing here. So where did it go? talking to? He said. Himself. We want the truth of who we are to be acknowledged. We want to live as ourselves at any cost. We want a home. Well, you can't have the United Kingdom. There's already people living there. They'll think you're going to pinch their benefits. And we're already there, Doctor. The invasion's already taken place bit by bit. Over the last year, we've won the first battle. And now we are going to begin the war. There's hundreds more. They killed everybody. We have to find out what forms they took, how many of them there were. How did this happen? Somebody once caught the briefest of glimpses of a Saigon in its proper form. A child who hadn't learned to preserve its body print. Had been left alone to learn these things for itself. And then word went round these primitives that we were monsters. We? There isn't any backup, is there? I just had to be sure. What is your status? Repeat. Commander calling. Truth or consequences. What is your status? Commander. Unit neutralized in North America. Truth or consequences. Copy that. in the UK, more or less. Happened. 
Republic are surrounded by Zygons. Get to the TARDIS. Get yourself safe. And apparently my plane is never going to land. But let's see what we're going to do about that. I'm sorry, but Clara's dead. Kate Stewart is dead. The unit troops are all dead. Truth or consequences? So, let me ask you a question about this brave new world of yours. When you've killed all the bad guys, and when it's all perfect and just and fair, when you have finally got it exactly the way you want it, what are you going to do with the people like you? The troublemakers. How are you going to protect your glorious revolution from the next one? We'll win. Oh, will you? Well, maybe, maybe you will win. But nobody wins for long. The wheel just keeps turning. So come on, break the cycle. Why are you still talking? Because I want to get you to see, and I'm almost there. Do you know what I see, Doctor? A box. A box with everything I need. A 50% chance. For us, too. And we're off! Fingers on buzzers! Are you feeling lucky? Are you ready to play the game? Who's gonna be quickest? Who's gonna be luckiest? This is not a game! No, it's not a game, sweetheart, and I mean that most sincerely. Why are you doing this? Yes, I'd quite like to know that, too. You set this up, why? Because it's not a game, Kate! This is a scale model of war! Every war ever fought right there in front of you. Because it's always the same. When you fire that first shot, no matter how right you feel, you have no idea who's going to die. You don't know whose children are going to scream and burn. How many hearts will be broken? How many lives shattered? How much blood will spill until everybody does what they were always going to have to do from the very beginning? Sit down and talk! <sighs> listen to me, listen. I just, I just want you to think. Do you know what thinking is? It's just a fancy word for changing your mind. I will not change my mind. Then you will die stupid. Alternatively, you could step away from that box. You could walk right out of that door and you could stand your revolution down. No. I'm not stopping this, Doctor. I started it. I will not stop it. You think they'll let me go after what I've done? You're all the same, you screaming kids. You know that? Look at me. I'm unforgivable. Well, here's the unforeseeable. I forgive you after all you've done. I forgive you. You don't understand. You will never understand. I don't understand? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of course I understand. I mean, do you call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. And you know what you do with all that pain? Shall I tell you where you put it? You hold it tight. Till it burns your hand. And you say this. No one else will ever have to live like this. No one else will ever have to feel this pain. Not on my watch. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.